Hey, what's up YouTube? Hey, I'm going to do a real quick down and dirty video on some thermal goggles that I built out of some Eachine FPV goggles and a Flearview Pro thermal camera. So this is really more of an overview video, not a uh, detail by detail how to, but I think you'll get a pretty good idea of how I did it. Um, if you're going to do this, you're going to need some soldering skills, a little bit of electrical skills to do it, but it's not super, super difficult. So I picked up this uh, Flearview Pro. This is a, a 640 resolution, 9 millimeter uh, lens, 30 hertz uh, frame rate camera. And uh, I intended to use it uh, on a drone and I needed some FPV goggles to receive the video that was transmitted from it from the drone. And so I bought these Eachine EV800D goggles and wired all the drone stuff up. I got it working. And then I got to thinking, well, I could use the goggles too for uh, uh, as a pair of thermal goggles with the camera on them. So I can take the camera off and use it just like this uh, with just to mount the antennas on there and that's uh, for the drone. Or then I can mount the camera on the goggles and uh, then I've got a, a set of thermal goggles uh, you know, for a pretty good price. I've got about $1,300 total in this setup. So the camera is wired into the uh, goggles. I actually removed the battery and there's some uh, videos online on how to remove the stock battery from the front of the goggles. And uh, I did that and I added a battery pack to the back so that it balanced it out because adding the camera on the front of the goggles made it a little front heavy. So taking the battery out and moving the battery to the back worked. You can see where my power wires come out of the side right there. And that plugs in to a cable that I've got running to the battery pack on the back of the, the uh, strap or I can velcro a battery to the side of the goggles and uh, use the goggles uh, as just a video screen instead of for FPV. I used a Fat Shark uh, battery pack. You can use any battery you want really uh, as long as it's not in excess of 12 volts for the uh, goggles. But uh, that's what I use. It takes two 18, uh, 650 batteries and seems to work pretty good and I had a bunch of those batteries already so I made my own connector there my own cable with just the to plug into the stock fat shark I heated up a nail and burnt some holes in the back of the head strap and used uh, zip ties to hold a little pouch on back there to hold that battery in place and then ran the zip ties inside where they poked out on the inside so they didn't poke me in the back of the head they actually poke out on the inside of the, the pouch there the wiring going to the FLIR is the hardest part. You can buy the the, the uh, power cable or the cable online. It's actually a GoPro cable. Um, it's a video and power cable, uh, but you need to make darn sure that uh, it's wired correctly for uh, the FLIR um, because uh, the FLIR is not, uh, not protected. Uh, if you get the wires backwards or something like that, you could burn it up. But uh, uh, you can check the wiring diagram for the FLIR, it's in the manual, or uh, look online, or I'll try and post a wiring diagram to this. So you open the goggles up, like I said, I removed the stock battery, <clears throat> and then I wired the uh, audio and video, or not the, not the audio, but the video cables directly to the Eachine goggle board, and I'll show a close-up here in a second of how I wired those in. But basically the yellow wire coming from the goggles uh, wires to the AV or the, the video input uh, on the board and then the black wire, the, the negative wire, just wires to a ground on the board. In the upper left hand corner there you can see uh, uh, the lower left leg on that, uh, that audio video input. That is actually the video. So I soldered to it and then I put a little glue there just to keep the, from pulling on that wire. And then I soldered the uh, negative to the bottom of that antenna. Um, which is just a negative that goes to the board. <clears throat> the power split, so the power coming from the battery goes straight to the board, uh, unregulated. But the power going to your FLIR, it only takes 5 volts. So those two 18650s are 8.4 volts. That runs the, the thermal camera fine, but the FLIR only takes 5 volts. And if you go in excess of 6 volts, you can burn it up. So I split the uh, power. If you look, on the, I used a UBEC. It's just got a, a positive and negative in and a positive and negative out. So you wire that positive and negative in from the battery and then out from that to your uh, FLIR. 
and there it is mounted in the bottom there's plenty of room in front when you take the battery out in front of that video screen uh, there's plenty of room down in there I've got it uh, just hot glued in there so it doesn't rattle around and uh, so that's the way the power is split um, it's important you get the power right uh, that's really the only thing you're going to mess your clear up with if you don't get right is the power you want to make sure you've only got five volts and uh, it's uh, positive positive and negative to negative that you don't get it switched so there's the goggles um, like I said I can use them uh, the cool thing about those the Eoshin goggles is you can take the back off and you can use it just as a video screen it's got a tripod mount on it and so you can just use it for handheld scanning uh, just like that just uh, plug your battery in turn it on and uh, scan with it here I am scanning uh, just around my yard you can see you can actually put it on and with the nine millimeter lens there's not a lot of magnification and you can actually see to walk with them uh, pretty good i had the green on there just so you could kind of see it a little bit better uh, since it was daytime here's some nighttime video that i shot with it you'll see when i scan away from the hunter there uh, the the uh, camera's got a built-in auto adjust so it adjusts to the hottest thing in the frame and so you'll see the woods brighten up and uh, with the hunter right there in the foreground, it kind of makes the woods dark. But if he wasn't there, you could see deeper into the woods. The Eoshin goggles have a built-in DVR, so you can record with them. You can also record on the FLIR View Pro. You could use a FLIR View also if you didn't want to buy the Pro model, if you just want to pick one up on eBay for cheap. So that's a down and dirty overview. Like I said, this wasn't meant to be a step-by-step -step how-to, more of just kind of give you the idea uh, of what's out there. And for 640 resolution goggles um, that you have multi-purposes, I can put that camera on a drone, or I can handheld it, or I can use it as goggles. Um, it's just super, super versatile. Um, I really, really like the way it turned out. I hope this gives you some ideas. Uh, if it, if you do, or if you have some, if you make one, or you have some questions about it, uh, just post in the comments below. You guys have a great day.